All right, so what's happening here? I'm inside my garage. I'm about to do a review, but today is not the typical basketball review that I usually do in my channel. This one is a basketball hoop. All right, so Spalding is kind enough to send me the latest basketball hoop model. This one is Momentous Easy Assembly. Like the name itself, easy. So on the box, it stated that I can install this in 30 minutes or less. With typical basketball hoop, it takes between two hours to three hours, so depend how many pieces it has. So this one, it claimed that you can do it in 30 minutes or less. So we're gonna put that into the test, all right? And once we get it up and finish install it, we're gonna find out the quality and we're gonna find out the stability. Is it stable? Is it flimsy? How good is the base? How good is the pole? How good is the rim? All that good stuff. And I'm not gonna focus too much on how to install it because Spalding did a good job on how to assemble this basketball hoop. So you guys want to find out more or how to assemble in detail, I'm gonna leave a link in below and check out the video. They did a great job on that one. So I'm not gonna waste my time, try to copy it, but instead, like I say, try to test how fast and how easy it is to install this and the quality of the hoop itself. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm not going to tell you guys just yet how long it took me to finish installing this basketball hoop, but we're going to start with the aesthetic guy. This thing make my driveway look expensive. So when I pull up into my garage and see this basketball hoop just sitting there on my driveway, it's just like a wow factor, right? From a distance, it look nice and look premium. All right, let's move on to the product detail. So this particular model that I have is the 54 inches, which costs about $850. And the other model is the 50 inches and it costs about $650. But keep in mind that if you decide to go with the 50 inches, you will get a different backboard, which is H frame. But with the 54 inches, you will get a clear view backboard. Also, the rims is different. With the 50 inches, you will get like the cheaper rims. And then with the 54, you get the premium like arena type of rims. So the entire backboard is made with acrylic and the frames around it make steel. And like I mentioned earlier that the rim is the arena type of rim, you know, those nice quality thick steel rims and you know it is not like your typical double rims or those cheap flimsy rim that you get this hoop come with the high adjustment of eight feet minimum and 10 feet maximum and how you adjust it it come with this uh, crank that you can do it manually and when i did it by hand it took me about 45 seconds but then i found a hack for it instead of manually adjust it i used the battery drill uh, that helped me cut down half the time. So using the battery drill is like the best option for me because me and my kids, we all play in the different height setting. So my kid play at eight feet and I play at 10. So I have to constantly adjust it. So if you guys have the drill laying around, use that. So the pole on this basketball hoop has a more square shape than a round shape. Uh, usually we see a square shape on a more premium basketball hoop. Those round one, I think the materials or the layer of the steel is kind of thin. This one stick, you can feel it. The, the measurement on this pole is 2.75 square inches, all right? Also, this hoop have this two steel extended arm to help make it more stable. Uh, usually we don't see those, we just see a straight pole from the base to the backboard. Uh, but this hoop have a two arm to make it more stable. The base dimension on this hoop is 54 inches by 32 inches. And you can fill up to 36 gallon of water or sand. But for me, water is a much better option in case you have to take it out from the base. And it's much easier to take out water than the sand. 
and this hoop only comes with two wheels two front wheel instead of four and it's much easier if you till the backboard and then push it and this backboard also come with a five year limited warranty i'm gonna leave all the warranty information on the screen right now you can look what's included so you don't have to research it all right let's get into the main point why i'm making this video did i able to install this pascal hoop within 30 minutes or less by myself even though the instruction told me that i need two people for this but i just want to try to do it by myself and nope i did not get it done within 30 minutes or less because there a certain part of the installation that would be best to have two people to do it especially when i have to put the backboard into the pole and then screw it together because the backboard is heavy and i need the backboard to be flat and stable so i had to use a chair to prop it up and put the screw in that part take me forever yeah i think that one was the longest for me and another part that i was struggling with was after i attached the backboard into the pole i have to push it straight up and because my base was not stable so you know i have a little bit hard time with that too and lastly the most challenging part was attaching the rims into the backboard uh, especially when i have to tighten the spring i need to really tighten it to make sure it's secure and because my socket wasn't like i would say a proper fit i mean it's the right side but it's kind of big so it's i'm having a hard time to like fitting and tighten it so uh, that part was a little bit time consuming too and i really think that if i have another person to help me i can get this thing done within 30 minutes or less for sure because by myself i get it done within like 50 52 minutes all right let me share with you guys the tricks and tips that i found along the way that help speed up the process all right tip number one is make sure you guys lay out all the part that come in the box in order especially screw and nuts but spalling did a good job label all those uh package so each section they have like number like 1b or 2b whatever the package is so that way is a lot easier for you to grab and know what's inside that bag all right so what i did i didn't take out the screw or the nuts or the bulb out from each package i just leave it in the package uh until i finish using each package i go open another one so that way it doesn't get mixed up and another tip that i found easy to do uh, when you take out the protective film on the backboard before you install it so instead of rip it by hand i would recommend using the box cutter and just go along the way uh, till the knife a little bit and just you know gently go over those film and just rip it so it's come out a lot cleaner and a lot faster and another tip is i would add the water last unless you know exactly where you are going to put the hoops uh, or the why put the water into the base last because it's a lot easier to move with no water than when the water is fill up the base and lastly have spoiling a youtube video on how to install this basketball hoop so that way you can follow along and know exactly where to put what and what screw to put where and all that good stuff all right let's move on to stability this one is pretty stable for a portable basketball hoop compared to the cheaper hoops out there like the one in the price range between 200 to 400 dollars and you got to remember this is a portable hoops all right it's not the in-ground in-ground basketball hoop is a lot more stable than than the portable one so this thing just sitting on a plastic base right the base that make off a of plastic so it doesn't matter how stable or how durable or how quality the upper part of the hoop is. essentially it's still sitting on the plastic base filled with water all right another thing i noticed is the rim all right the rim on this hoop have a lot of forgiveness like a good bounce when you hit like in front of the rim it will bounce and then the ball would roll into the net 
right so it's, it's a good thing all right so another thing i notice is when i shoot off the backboard or bang off the backboard i can see the board is kind of wobbly a little bit but that can be expected from a portable basketball hoop because you know you won't get that same stability as the indoor hoop or the or the in-ground hoop because those things is uh, very stable but it's not too bad though i play with worse before you know those cheaper basketball hoop the one make from cheaper material like that not acrylic have that funny and doesn't have that true bounce to it compared to the momentous uh, even though it have a little bit wobbliness but you will get used to it and it have a much nicer bound off the backboard than the other one. Oh yeah i almost forgot to tell you guys something so a lot of time when i shoot and the ball hit that front cover because that front cover have some kind of degree uh have some kind of angle i don't know how many degree maybe 60 maybe 80 i don't know but it does have some kind of degree on it so every time that ball hit it it would just bound or run off into the street and i have to like really really chase it uh, to make sure that it don't get into the street because you know my street is a little bit busy sometimes uh but yeah probably down the line i'm gonna get some kind of net just to catch it for safety purpose but it's pretty annoying to me so overall this is a great basketball hoop in the past few days i enjoy playing with it my kid love playing with it it has great quality it's easy to assemble it doesn't have that many parts pretty straightforward you can get this thing installed within 30 minutes if you have two people so if you're in the market for a new basketball hoop give this one a try some people might think the price is a little bit too steep or too much but i don't think so compare this basketball hoop to the other one out there and the quality you're going to get from this basketball hoop I, I think it's worth it so give it a try also i think the 54 inches clear view hoop is better option because it come in a better backboard and have a better rim yeah so thank you guys for watching catch you guys in the next one peace